And starting out our look this Monday with a look across the Ohio River. Things very quiet in our skies today. That's going to be the case throughout the afternoon ahead. 67 degrees right now. There's a northerly breeze in the wake of a front that's going to pave the way for a really nice day. Humidity and dew point levels are going to be comfortable even dropping through the afternoon. So there's going to be no additional feels like temperatures even as we heat up into the afternoon ahead. That's going to be some of the great news. How about 59 degrees? You're a little cooler in Madison, Indiana to 67 in the metro still hanging on to 70 in Frankfurt E town. You're at a pleasant 66 degrees with 68 in Bardstown and Litchfield. As we head through this Labor Day, pleasant conditions with bright skies, warm and dry weather, 78 midday with afternoon highs topping out in the low 80s around 83 and it's really going to be nice into the evening ahead. After sunset we'll be in the low 70s at 71 with 50s by tomorrow morning. Front is pushed on off towards the south. That's giving us the nice weather the next couple of days. Our next storm system is not the rain in Texas, even though we'll see a few clouds from that. It's a system that's all the way still out in the Pacific Ocean off the west coast of the United States. By the time we get in the late week time frame, we'll see an opportunity for some showers. But the next couple of days, we're pushing the hot, humid weather off towards the south, bringing in the pleasant skies from the north. So in the seven day forecast, 83 today, 85 tomorrow with lows in the 50s, really feeling nice. Now we'll start to inch those temperatures up a bit more, more so into the upper 80s Wednesday and Thursday, but no extreme heat in the seven day forecast. And that's some great news. If you still need some rain in the yards, the gardens, the fields across the region, the best chance for that will be some widely scattered showers and storms on Friday. That does not look like a guarantee of rain, but as a front moves on in, it will bring that chance of some showers and storms. And then that front, it's a cold front and it does its job. Look at weak in conditions, lots of sunshine and highs below normal only into the upper 70s, both Saturday and Sunday and lows again well into the 50s by Saturday night into Sunday morning.